We love our sponsors like Foothill Transit and West Covina. And if you'd like to sponsor our show, we would like to have you on board. But now on to the morning buzz. Right, and we have our own Tammy Devine here. She's going to be talking a little bit about all this Trump chaos. Yeah. It's still Trumpology, or it's still Trump, <laughs> Trump, Trump. Lots right? of trumpets out there. Yeah, trumpets. Trump mania. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All that? aboard the Trump all train, it sounds like. It you know, it was so. All against it. Yeah, it's seriously. I mean, I don't think there's much middle ground here no. right now. Everybody, People either hate Donald Trump. And they're leaving they the country. Love him. Right. Yeah, and yeah. they're leaving the country. Uh -huh. Exactly. But it was so odd to me, um, watching the recent debates, that, um, uh, you know, the GOP candidates were like, you stink. We can't stand you. You know, all the all the different things they you were saying the about pop-ups over there. Yeah. <laughs> and then suddenly, uh, the moderators asked them, "But if he's the nominee, are you going to support him?" They were all like, "Yes." Yes, we're going to support him if he's the nominee. So I don't know. Maybe they're thinking he's not going to be the nominee, and so they feel safe with that answer. But it's very surprising to me to hear them actually say that. Well, I think somebody's just waiting so for him to fall battle. off the train. You know, they've been waiting for him to do that for so long, though. Everything uh, he said he's along the line, anywhere. he's not. And part of the reason, though, and this this is part of the attraction uh, for Trump. And I got to tell you, you know what? I, I, I lied. I'm 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 probably one of the fence sitters right now because I want to love Donald. Because, you know, he's, he's a plain spoken guy. He's just like, you know, tells it like it is and how he feels. And I like that. There's an appeal to, for me about that. But I just, you know, there's something off. And I feel like I'm nervous that he's going to Lucy us. I feel like what's going to happen. What is does that mean? Th Lucy, yes. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> I, you know, I'm like, don't Lucy me, Trump. And what that means is that I don't want America to be the football and me, you know, um, uh, me be Charlie Brown and Donald Trump be Lucy. I don't want him to Lucy me oh, and pull the football Lucy. away and be like, ha ha, this is the real me if he gets elected. You know what I mean? So I think that, that for me, I'm a little bit of a fence sitter on that because I'm not quite sure what's going to happen if he actually gets elected and starts to govern. But, you know, when you think about people like yourself mm -hmm. that are on the fence, um, a lot of folks are actually taking really that one side of the fence because he does have a lot of characteristics of I don't know what to expect. Which side? No. Well, the, I'm, the side I, that likes him? Well, no, but... but the point I'm trying to make is a lot of international uh, presidents mm -hmm. and, and dignitaries don't know which way he's coming from. And they're nervous. They're very nervous. And they're, they're calling him nervous. out. They're like, oh, we're not going to build that, you know, blip well, he's okay. always talking about his okay. Okay. China's interest. getting all scared of him. They're very... But, but you, know you know what? what? It's about I time. I think that's a plus. I, that's don't right. You? I, I, I mean, think it's about time that people... I'm not saying be nervous about us, mm -hmm. but we've been being laughed at for the last... Four to eight years. Yeah, and you I know, mean, a lot of people are going to hate on me because of um, of my thoughts about like Obama, for example. He was he was bowing to all these dictators for so long. That does not look good on a president of the United States. I'm I, sorry. I totally And agree. I don't think that Donald Trump is going to do that. And, and I'm not comparing Trump to Reagan, but when Reagan was coming in, there was a lot of uncertainty about mm -hmm. that. And well, we better give up the hostages. Yeah, you know, and, and they made fun boom. of him. Yeah, yeah. Gone. The Iran uh, uh, hostages were released immediately. So, who do you think the establishment is wanting to support? Well, oh my goodness, oh. I could talk like for days Rubio. about this. It started out as Jeb. The plan was for yeah. all of those other candidates to eventually fall away and give all of the the. the Delegate. The delegates <laughs> over to Jeb Bush, but Trump decimated him. He devastated him. What do you think Trump's so biggest out. downfall was? What do you think really defeated him? Trump, uh, Jeb, you mean? Jeb. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I think he was just pitiful. I think that as soon as Donald Trump branded him, which Trump is very good at doing, he brands his opponent. He, he, he start, starts the narrative immediately on them and doesn't let them define themselves. He was, he he was defending himself, I think, Jeb, yeah, the, the whole, whole entire time. time. Yeah. And, you know, the one thing about um, Jeb, like, the, just the most pitiful thing about Jeb was that whole, like, um, please clap. Did you guys see that? There's a video mm -hmm. out there where he's, like, talking to a, just a handful of supporters <laughs> out there, and he's saying this, like, big major point, and he stops talking, and the room is silent. And he's like, please clap. 
Oh, <laughs> it was so I didn't see that. Sad I got, and I got, pathetic, I and honestly, I think that. that probably did him. But you know, I, I also else. found it very funny on that same subject because you see Trump in these big arena type, you know, Huge. talks and and, 10, and there's 000, thousands, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand, and then of course all the little excerpts you see of Jeb's talking, it's like. Five or six yeah, people. Handful, and it's like, hey guys, get people. closer so it looks like there's more people. Yeah. You know, uh. the crazy thing is that it's kind of happening on the Dem side as well because um, right now you're seeing like real small gatherings with Hillary, which is I I'm very surprised about. Oh. And Bernie is yeah. filling up massive stadiums. Yeah. So, so, it's, I don't know. so I think Hillary's going to be in jail. But it'll be it'll be a <laughs> Hillary Hill for so how, so, Yeah. So how <laughs> will Hillary mean. run while she's in prison against Trump? <laughs> right? That we'll yeah. have you on next for that one. How's that? I don't long, know if I can tackle that. You know against campaigning while you're in jail? You know, I gotta look that up. <laughs> That's a good one. I, I, so I hope she wouldn't be allowed uh, to. Come on, no, no, I'm, I know. Stop all the hate mail already. Uh, I'm kidding. Gonna, we're gonna hear about Hillary's it. Hillary's got Teflon on. It can't. She, nothing's gonna stick. Yeah, to both her. of them are we're like good. Teflon on. We'll see. We're good. But uh, well, What's look. Up next? You know, uh, hey, we really want to thank you for uh, being here. We got um, uh, uh, a for better, not worse. Clothing. We're going to be talking to Patrick. I know we have Patrick Reed on, and he will talk with us about what he's doing to feed children with his clothing line. That's Next. awesome. That's awesome.